Hi there. On weekends, we do reruns so that yours truly can take a couple days off. Look for a fresh new episode on Monday. Meanwhile, please enjoy this episode for this day from a previous year. I thank you so much for your indulgence and loyalty, and have a great weekend. Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for April 13th. April 13th is the 103rd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 104th in leap years, with 262 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is auspicious. Auspicious is an adjective that means showing or suggesting that future success is likely. Propitious, fortunate, prosperous. As in, his acclaimed first novel was an auspicious debut. The word auspicious comes to us from Latin. First known use of the word auspicious is 1593, auspicious. And with that, you might remember that we mentioned yesterday on April 12th, in the year 1204, the Crusaders of the Fourth Crusade breached the walls of Constantinople. Well, following that, Constantinople fell to the Crusaders of the Fourth Crusade on April 13th, 1204, temporarily ending the Byzantine Empire. This is the birthday of American statesman, diplomat, lawyer, architect, philosopher, and founding father of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, born April 13, 1743. Jefferson's writings and support of human rights, such as the freedom of religion and thought, speech, and assembly, served as a major source of inspiration for the American Revolution, ultimately resulting in American independence and the United States Constitution. He went on to become the third president of the United States. Interestingly, a rivalry developed between himself and the second president of the United States, John Adams. As so often happens, Thomas Jefferson began to suffer various health ailments in his later years, and he took a downturn on July 3rd of 1826 Within an hour after noon the following day, July 4th, 1826, Thomas Jefferson passed away at the age of 83. Interestingly, a few hours later, <laughs> Jefferson's friend and rival John Adams was also fading fast. Just before Adams' death, he said, Thomas Jefferson survives, unaware that Thomas Jefferson had passed away earlier that same day. On April 13, 1943, the 200th anniversary of President Jefferson's birth, the Jefferson Memorial was dedicated in Washington, D.C. And on April 13, 1976, the 233rd birthday of Thomas Jefferson, the United States Treasury Department reintroduced the $2 bill as a Federal Reserve note as part of the United States Bicentennial Celebration. I will pause here and say that I have other episodes for April 13th from previous years, and I'll include links to those if you'd like to see them. I mean, I'll include links whether you want to see them or not. You can go look at them if you want to. <laughs> Today's song is Honey by Bobby Goldsboro, written by Bobby Russell and originally recorded by Bob Shane of the Kingston Trio. Bobby Goldsboro heard it and wanted to record it too. Discussion followed and Bobby Goldsboro was allowed to proceed and released his version of the song about a month after Bob Shane. Bobby Goldsboro's version is the one that took off and take off it did <laughs> five weeks in the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 beginning April 13th, 1968. As always, link in the description and also a link to Bob Shane's version if you'd like to compare them. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. 
That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that's called, no really. You can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Getter. All those links in the description. Alrighty, that's all I could think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Do not disturb. Okay, I turned do not disturb on. Good job. Third time better be a charm. <laughs> Did I say 19th? It's not the 19th yet. <laughs> one more, one more time. <laughs> Attra attracting... Just read the whole thing over. Are you are you making some sound? Get on out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna edit that out. <laughs> Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you. Flinging happiness all over the place. All right, back to work. I think we got it this time.